Dwayne here, phoenixtyperwriter.com. Got a Valentine on the bench, and today is Valentine's Day. This is February 14, 2022. Decided to pull the Valentine up and work on it today. It's going to get uh, serious cleaning, primarily, but also the space bar here is just tweaked out. It's like, it's like bent and then and bent, a compound bend. So it's bent forward and it's a weird shape. It's doing something weird and uh, not lining up. So we're gonna work on that here on the camera, but it really just needs a good cleaning. Looking inside here, how grungy this is. Oops. I just lost my camera. Let's put it back in the mount. I just lost it from the mount. Look at how grungy this is. Just doesn't get much more dirty than this guy. So let's pull this back. This has a unique case. It comes off a little bit different than normal. So the back panel, let's start with the back panel back panel here has these holes but they, they were plugged so it's got a little plug in there like that and a little plug like that it goes down there so those have to be removed and they were kind of stuck in there but you can get them out with the spring hook then there were screws in here and there were nuts in these two outer ones and this whole panel comes off like that. So we can get to the back here. Then to take the body off was a different task in hand. Doesn't want to stand on his back without that back panel. These were just these four screws but you have to take this frame off here first, which also was held in by these nuts that were kind of difficult to get to because the frame there was not allowing certain nut driver to fit. But I got it off and then the rest of this body just slips out the front here. So you just pull it out the front, like that, push it on through, and it comes on out like that. Putting them back on is a little trickier because you've got to compress these. It looks like that number row has got to be pushed down at least to get to a, to get that upper shell back on there. So now we got it. Let's see if this stands on its back. Nope. Not really designed to stand on his back. It's too bad. Uh, just, I don't like typewriters that you can't decase them and then stand them up. I don't know why they do that. It really does bug me to death. Okay, so up here at the space bar though, I already took a quick look. Well, not a quick look, just a look. And so this is just mounted in these little pressure fit slots. And this one, I don't know how I'm going to tweak this yet. I haven't quite figured it out. But see that bend in there? Just takes that wild, wild bend. And uh, let's see if I can just take the space bar off the, uh, off the, uh, Coming. 
just about there. Okay, well those look pretty straight. These guys now that I cut it out. And see those? Those look like they're in the right position. Let's look at the space bar. It's the space bar, it's just... It's got a weird tweak to it. I'm gonna have to do something. I have to do something. Probably gonna have to heat it up and try to twist it straight. Let's see if I can straighten this out. It's got a twist to it. It's kind of like if you twist it, it straightens out. With that twist, I'm gonna untwist it. All right, I'm probably gonna have to do that off camera. I'll put this in some boiling water or something and get it hot and try to twist it the other direction and try to get it to straighten out because I think these mounts are are good here. I thought maybe this was bent on this side but I think it's just the space bar is messed up. But we're going to go ahead and flush the segment on this, clean the type, check the ribbon drive. Everything seemed to work when I tried it. So. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there's no other problems. I can just fix that space bar. It was a loose screw. Yeah, this cover had a, some loose screws. In fact, that one is still loose right there. That's way loose. This bottom one was loose too. Too. Okay, well, that's probably it for this video. Just taking the shell off, back panel, front trim, and space bar. I'm going to work on that off camera. All right, just wanted to highlight that I'm working on a Valentine on Valentine's Day. Phoenix typewriter, good day.